Hey, this is Troy Baker, and you're watching the Hybrid Network. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to Character Bios yet again. I'm trying something different because, you know, excuse me, I've been reading comments and, you know, we all read comments, but I was reading, you know, comments like how I can make this better and a lot of times you guys are like, combination of live action like this and slides and, you know, like visuals and, you know, things like that I can make on Photoshop. So I was like, let me try a blend of the two in a way I think might be successful. So hopefully this works out well for you guys. Hope you guys like it. And uh, yeah, uh, let's get on with it. So T'Challa, um, and that's his real name, T'Challa is the Black Panther. Uh, probably one of the most famous black superheroes or African superheroes um, in all of comics, DC and Marvel wise. He's getting his own movie soon, played by the awesome Chadwick Boseman, uh, who if you, if you haven't seen his performances, I highly recommend it. Uh, I personally remember when I was watching which it was the James Brown movie, Get On Up. I was watching that and I was like, this guy's a really good actor. It'd be really cool to see him in a Marvel movie. And then lo and behold, he's cast in Black Panther. So I'm looking forward to uh, how it's done. And I'm surprised I haven't done this bio yet, which is what I'm doing it now. So let's get on to the origin. Uh, T'Challa is the son of T'Chaka, king of the African nation of Wakanda. And his biological mother, Niyami, died at childbirth. So he was pretty much raised mother-wise by his stepmother, Ramonda, um, even though she left when he was eight. So his father was really the only kind of parental figure uh, you know, he ever had. Now, during his later te teenage years, I'd say probably like 16 to 18 years old, his father was killed by a kind of vibranium you know, hunter, you could say, named Claw. Now, Claw is played by Andy Serkis in Avengers 2 and presumably in Black Panther. Uh, the movie so it's gonna be really interesting to see you know how they go about claw in this movie um it's worth mentioning that t'challa also does have a brother an adoptive older brother who's white because his parents you know were both white crashed in wakanda and t'chaka took him in he's not really important to the black panther origin as much as he is just you know he plays a part later on after t'challa plays you know after he becomes black panther but i thought it'd be worth mentioning uh Anyways, yes, yeah, so after the death of T'Chaka, this is really where Black Panther's origin, so to speak, really kicks off. Um, he almost kills Claw, but Reed Richards, of all people, actually stops you know T'Challa from doing that. And actually, at this moment, this is where T'Challa pretty much dedicates you know all of his resources, his power, his energy, his time to helping others. You know, to be a better person, be a better leader. So uh, after this, T'Challa traveled for many years. Uh, around the world, learning, studying, gaining more experience, exposure to the world around him, so he could take that back and become the best leader Wakanda could possibly have. Uh, like I said before, after you know many years of traveling, he challenged the previous Black Panther, um, who was the Black Panther at the time. He bested the Black Panther. Uh, there's a certain type of trial you have to do to become the next Black Panther. And he did it. Um, either it's you defeat, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I read this very recently, obviously, because I'm making this video, so I'm pretty sure I'm accurate here. But either you have to challenge and defeat the six best warriors of Wakanda, or you just beat the previous Black Panther. Uh, depending on the comic, depending on which interpretation the writer wants to go with, it's either or. But usually it's just kind of one of those things where you beat the previous Black Panther, you become the next Black Panther. Um, as long as the herb you have to eat accepts you and doesn't kill you because it's this very special plant that was mutated by exposure to the vibranium mound in, in Wakanda. And it's actually really interesting. Uh, the mythology of Black Panther goes really deep. But anyways, like I said before, so he, tra he comes back, he challenges this Black Panther and he beats him, becoming the next Black Panther, aka the next King of Wakanda, which everyone knew would happen, uh, specifically because when T'Chaka died, T'Challa was technically the next one to become Black Panther, except for when he left, that kind of disrupted things, so now that he's back, everything's kind of aligned yet again. Uh, so, as the Black Panther, T'Challa led Wakanda to become a technology marvel and powerhouse around the world. Uh, 
It's currently in Marvel Comics, one of the most advanced nations in the world, even though it's very isolated, which has kind of been much more lax than it was previously. Like the people of Wakanda were very xenophobic to everyone else around Wakanda. Um, and definitely T'Challa has really helped remedy that much more than it was before his time. Um, he also joined the Avengers, which is obviously a lot of people know that. He became really good friends with the Fantastic Four, which a lot of people don't know, but T'Challa's probably best friend in the Marvel Universe is Reed Richards. Um, he's one of those people that T'Challa really feels can you know, keep up with him you know, up here. And uh, it's, it's actually really cool if you know about the character. They have a really interesting friendship that you don't really... Like, you, you see it time for time in different comics, but it's like something you really don't really understand until you read the older ones. Um, and also, I think everyone knows this, he's a part of the Illuminati, the Marvel Illuminati. And uh, very, very, very recently, however, uh, he became something called the King of the Dead. Now, this doesn't mean he actually rules over the dead as much as he's king of the city of Necropolis in Wakanda. Now, this is where the dead Black Panthers of the past are buried, and he made a very private pact, a uh, covenant, you could say, with the panther goddess um, Bastis. That's, that's, Bastis is her name. And he made a, a covenant with her, and she gave him the ability to basically take upon, uh, I'll get into it in the abilities portion, but basically he has more power than he did before, and he's the king of the dead. That's his like title, so to speak. Even though during this whole recent uh, Illuminati stuff, this Illuminati business, he also became king of Wakanda again because his sister, who was the you know the queen of Wakanda, uh, his sister Shuri, was like, every Wakanda's destroyed. It's all you know Necropolis now. So you're basically king of Wakanda again. So it's very that's it's more of just Hickman's writing. But for all intents and purposes. The King of the Dead is probably where best you should start off at if you're trying to read Black Panther at this point. So um, yeah, T'Challa is no longer the official ruler of Wakanda, but he does rule the city of where the Black Panthers are buried when they die, which is still a pretty big place. That's where the Illuminati meets in the New Avengers comic. But yeah, let's get on to his abilities. Uh, he has superhuman strength, speed, durability, sen senses, sorry, stamina, healing, agility, and reflexes. Um, he's also a super genius, master martial artist, tactician, marksman, inventor, scientist in general, leader, obviously he's a king, um, and as king of the dead he can call upon previous Black Panthers for their wisdom and experience. Uh, this has been played to different forms, it's been played into more of a, he can like kind of just have their info in his mind, or it's been played to it being kind of like the ghosts of the Black Panthers of the past kind of come up and talk to him, and he actually has conversations with them. So it's very interesting. Uh, Strength-wise, he used to be like around two tons-ish strength max, but with the recent power-up he's gotten, he's more 10 tons. Um, that's definitely been shown when he was fighting the Black Order in Wakanda, which you know you wouldn't be able to do if you were just you know peak human. So he's definitely superhuman at this point. Uh, speed, he's naturally really fast, way beyond you know natural speed of man, but he can also do this like quick dash thing, which is almost in instantaneous speed. Um, you can pretty much not even, like if the Black Panther is going to fight you, if he's trying to get you and he can see you, you're pretty much caught at this point. Uh, stamina, durability, healing, it's all way above, you know, normal levels. Senses, you can see in the dark, he can track you from long distances, you know, hear your heartbeat, things like that. Kind of like Daredevil level, but I'd say probably Black Panther is much more hunter oriented, but Black, or not Black Panther, well Daredevil is more like all around. And uh, martial artist, he's one of the best martial artists on the planet. Uh, a lot of people compare Black Panther to Batman in a fight just due to, you know, how much Black Panther knows in that, you know, sense of fighting. Uh, he knows Wakanda martial arts, and he knows, it's said he knows every martial arts in the world. So he's definitely a very lethal opponent if you want to fight him. And unlike a lot of other heroes, he has no qualms about killing you. So if he thinks he needs to kill you to, you know, neutralize the threat, he will kill you. Um, Unless you're like Namor and you know, kind of your involvement kind of cements you not being killed yet. But when you're when your help to this uh, situation is over, he will kill you. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all Black Panther's abilities. I, I really do hope you guys uh, enjoy this, but you know, I'm always up for tips, concerns, comments, advice, whatever have you, whatever you want to call it. So put that below. I hope you guys like this new design. If not, I can go back to the older one. 
I don't mind. I'm just trying to try something out that will get you guys more engaged, bring more people and you know, things like that. So without further ado, this is Josh and I'll see you guys later.